Hello, learners, educators, artists, everyone that's coming to listen to these little talks. Today, let's talk about Robert Indiana. His quote, my goal is that love should cover the world. We are talking about his uh, iconic love art that was featured on a stamp and on the Museum of Modern Art's Christmas cards originally and then made into a uh, huge sculpture. And we'll talk about a little bit of the story behind the love sculpture and his relationship with fellow artist Ellsworth Kelly and how both of them were strong, uh, popular pop artists. So let's look at the work of Robert Indiana together. So Robert Indiana was actually born Robert Clark and he was adopted as an infant. He spent his childhood moving frequently throughout Indiana um, and his artistic talent was noted at a very early age. It actually was recognized by his first grade teacher who encouraged him to become an artist. So everyone is very familiar with the love sculpture, the love piece, but it actually started out on a, uh, uh, I believe it was a Christmas card for the Museum of Modern Art. They asked him to design a, this card and he chose the single word love, the letters of which he arranged on two lines to fit the card's square format and to create a more interesting design, that's why he angled the O. This piece was then printed and adapted for a stamp in 1973 and then of course created into a giant sculpture. In addition to his love sculpture, he has also created a more Ahava and the hope piece. So this is his iconic style. He's done lots of other art, but everyone knows him as the quote, love artist. Uh, but what's interesting is there's different stories behind the love piece. One is that it is inspired by uh, his partner at the time who was Ellsworth Kelly. And his work, uh, if you look at the piece in the center here, he was a, a pop artist and a minimalist as well. And the way the colors are used in the love stamp. Now what's also interesting about Indiana's work is that he didn't receive as much money for his work because he didn't want his signature to, uh, inf to take away the influence or the focus from the work. So even for his hope piece that he did for the uh, Barack Obama elections of the 2008 campaign, uh, he raised over one million dollars from his art but his signature wasn't on the art uh, or underneath it because he didn't want it to affect the imagery. So he, there's there's actually a lot of copyright issues with Indiana's work as a side note. So uh, he's the artist of the day. I uh, hope you've enjoyed listening and learned a bit, a little bit here and there, and we will talk more tomorrow.